Thomas, 0-0 against uh, Dinamo Kiev. How would you assess the game? Um, I'm pleased. Um, we're playing against a very strong opponent who's played Europa League in the, in the spring and uh, playing Champions League qualifiers now. So it was two, two strong sides who um, gave each other a very competitive match. Uh, I'm very pleased with the things we've been working on in the first three weeks of the pre-season, especially the defensive organisation, the side to defend, um, the middle pressure, high pressure bits very much in details, and the more important thing, the mentality when we lose the ball, either counter press, that's the most important thing, or get under the ball. And we did that very well, and, and, and I'm pleased the way we built it. And the thing we need to do better, we get a, a clean sheet, is extremely important. And I would say, first half, very strong performance. Second half, we digged in, and the boys worked very hard to stay in the game, which is um, an area we need to improve, and then they did well. Uh, I lost count of the number of times you said defensive mentality uh, yeah. after after Christmas last year, both on, on and off the, off the record. Was that closer to what you're after? Yeah, much closer. Uh, I would say one thing is, um, is the game today, but the attitude and the effort uh, um, the players are putting into the training sessions and the focus we had the first three, three weeks have been um, an upgrade. So, so that's good. We just need to, to keep on that. And then we look on the, on the offensive part of the game from, uh, from next week. Uh, in terms of player involvement, you had Pontus Janssen play 45 minutes, David Raya played 45 minutes, his, their first games in, uh, in Brentford Shirts. What, what, did you, what, do you, what, what do you think of them and how have they f fit in over the past week? Uh, I think both of them have blended in you know, well. Um, straight from the start, uh, they just went into the group. It's an easy group to come into. Um, the other players welcomed them, um, and you know I think you can just see Davies very composed on the ball, uh, very good communicating, nice safe today as well, and strong training throughout the week. And Pontus is just coming in with this authority. You know, okay, um, I take care of this. You know, communication in there in the middle, and did a good job. So it looked it looked really promising. Um, what does the signing of Pontus Janssen say about Brentford as a football club? I, th I think it's I think two things. I, I think it say something about the way we play, um, because players find it interesting to play, not to play for a team, to play offensive, attractive football. That's one of the, uh, the things. The second thing, that we can sign a, a top player like Pontus, um, that says that, OK, other players, other people, they think, wow, Brentford, they they actually want to improve and take next step. How would you assess the, the week out here overall? Um, very good week. I would say we had top hotel, top facilities, very good and nice atmosphere off the pitch, staff and players um, between each other. Uh, on the pitch, very, very, very tough sessions and hard work. And the boys, you know, they just embraced it. No moaning, head down, work hard. They, they've done really, really well. So I strongly believe we took some good steps going forward this week. Did you achieve everything you wanted to when you, uh, I mean, when you just started on, on day one? Did you achieve everything you wanted by day seven? Yeah, from the thing we planned, I would say so. Um, it was big on, now we're talking tactical, you know, big on the defensive side of the game, a little bit on the offensive transitions, um, big on the team building, team bonding side, um, where we did various of uh, activities uh, and a whole team building day. So I would say that the team definitely got closer in every aspect and now we need to go to the other element of the game. So if we touch on who isn't here, so uh, first of all, no Neil Maupai today, what can you tell us about that? Um, Neil Maupai is not, not here because we decided um, to send him home for a couple of days to make sure he get his head right, not, be, not because he's been wrong, he's been training absolutely top top professional but just you know it's a situation he needs to to cope with and he's ready to train with us um, start next week um, then Saeed Ben Rama uh, been home uh, doing his rehab and hopefully he can join us on the on the pitch next week as well uh, Julian Chamvier is joining training Wednesday he's coming back from African Nation Cup Kama Bukocho, he decided to go a little bit further <laughs> uh, and been in, in training camp so we will not see him in the next two, two and a half week. Um, did I forget anyone? Yeah, Matt Speck, unfortunately, is a long injury. Don't know exactly how long, uh, so they stayed home. So, but we're looking forward to be back at Jersey Road after a good day, for, day, day off, and then we're ready to go again.
Uh, finally, you had some players from the, the B team out here with you, both training and, and, in, and involved today. Yeah. Um, I won't ask you to name individuals, but as, as, a, as a collective, how, how have they done and, and what does that give you for ta tactical for the season coming up? I think it's been very promising. I've been pleased with, um, with the effort and, and the way and the, um, all, all the energy they put into it. I think it's also a cadeau owe to, to the club and the B team staff because they were ready and the, they, were, they were well prepared to join the first team group and we have quite a few with us this time uh, and it's nice to see the quality and the effort, effort and the attitude is there to do everything to, to compete with the first team players and hopefully a few of them will join the group in the end of, um, of the preseason. And now we've tackled all the football stuff. You also had 50 to 70 odd Brentford fans who've come out here. I've seen you had your, your picture taken with a few. Uh, what does it mean to sort of players and staff when you're playing a sort of a low-key friendly, thousands, hundreds, of thousands of miles from home, and people still come out? Yeah, yeah, I think it's it's fantastic. It's nice to see how much it means for for them. I think, I think the fans they are a little bit excited. They want to see some of the new players, but also they have an opportunity to go abroad to see another side playing against Brentford and a different experience. But for us, it means a lot uh, that they are coming and supporting us.